Enet, once known as Ainos, is an ancient city on the northern coast of the Aegean Sea. It was mentioned for the first time by Homer in the Iliad as a city of Thrace, and it was definitely a heavily guarded landing site. Nowadays, the ancient expansion of the city is barely noticeable by following the ruins of the walls where the Hagia Sophia building was standing. Its history started in the 12th century, during the Byzantine era, but when Mohammed II conquered Constantinople, Enes fell too, and the church was turned into a mosque. Fatih Mosque was abandoned in 1965 after an earthquake that caused the crumbling of the central section of the building and the partial destruction of the north walls and the frontage. Only in 2015, the General Directorate of Foundations, the VGM, one of the most important institutions of Turkish government, decided to restore it and open it again for praying. The coordination of the restoration project has been assigned to Nicola Berluki, engineer and architect, together with Italian and Turkish experts. Benvenuti nella moschea di Fati, un tempo basilica di Hagia Sofia. Vi mostrerò i restauri fatti di un lungo lavoro di oltre sette anni di ricostruzione di una moschea che era crollata nel 1962 e rimasta abbandonata per oltre 70 anni. The cornerstone regarding the conservation of the partially crumbled building was to preserve and to enhance the survived parts. The ancient volumetric have been restored by rebuilding the whole mosque and by ensuring to preserve the original parts. The sensitivity was that there weren't critical or stylistic interpretations, as well as there wasn't any preference among different historical periods of the building. Qui possiamo vedere come il restauro sia stato estremamente conservativo. Tutti i muri originali sono stati mantenuti. Le parti ricostruite sono state intonacate e costruite con murature simili. Le cornici mancanti integrate con parti neutre. E qui abbiamo un buon esempio di una stratigrafia conservata di murature bizantine in mattoni e in tonaco rosato con sovrapposti almeno due strati di intonaci ottomani, uno non decorato e uno più recente, ottocentesco probabilmente, con decorazione d'acquerello. On the other hand, a scientific and culturally respectful approach was used in order to pass on the building to the following generations, to protect it from the atmospheric conditions and, above all, to restore its religious role. The restoration project started with a precise analysis of the historical record, and thanks to an archaeological and stratigraphic study of the elevation based on the comparison between the three-dimensional model in BIM and the detection of ruins and old photographs in order to define its condition before the crumbling with absolute accuracy and the adjustments and additions that have been made over time as well. Peckerler Company realized the reconstruction using traditional materials such as bricks, stone, wood and mortar with conventional methods and knowledges, supplemented with modern materials and consolidation systems such as steel, fibers and special mortars. The structural reinforcement, especially earthquake proof, was obtained thanks to the widening of the foundations where necessary, injections into the walls of the Byzantine era seams between the new and old walls, tie rods and reinforcement rings in stainless steel, the rebuilding of the vaults in bricks and, in some cases, the reconstruction of these same vaults with layers of plaster on wire netting in order to avoid encumbering the building, a glue lamb covering and steel perimeter wielding rods. For the reconstruction of the 25 meter high stone minaret that crumbled the early years of 1900s, Long vertical steel tie rods connected with carbon fiber rings every three stone levels were inserted and they were tethered to the foundation poles. 
all of the plant engineering choices have been suited to the best and most modern technologies. In this context, after having mapped, categorized and dismantled the ancient marble slabs in order to strengthen the foundations, it has been possible to install a radiant floor heating system powered by heat pumps supplemented by small gas boilers for the first time in a Byzantine building. The lighting, managed via scenarios and bus connections, puts together the lead fixtures on the frames with traditional Ottoman chandeliers, redesigned by inserting numerous LEDs in the upper part of the steel ring. Once again, this is the first time in Turkey. The narthex area, no longer the main entrance when it was turned into a mosque, due to a new entrance open on the left side, has been converted into a museum. Eccoci qui, siamo nel Nartece, un punto molto significativo dell'antica basilica bizantina, trasformato poi in luogo per le abluzioni in periodo musulmano. Viene utilizzato nel progetto come spazio per la parte museale per mostrare tutta la stratigrafia e la storia di questo antico monumento, dal pozzo per le abluzioni ai resti cristiani e il soffitto che ricorda il soffitto piano crollato nel 1960. A highly evocative place has been created, lighted with linear spotlights, which records the evolution of the monument since its edification. As regards the disposition to the external parts, the CAPS studio has set up a very naturalistic arrangement without contemporary additions minimizing the impact of the new space meant for ablutions with no coverage, enhancing the floors and the archaeological ruins that have emerged from the excavations. Although the ancient church was turned into a mosque over 500 years ago, and the restoration was designed to the resumption of its role, each historical element has been carefully restored to its initial condition, from Christian depictions to the Muslim patterns and sacred inscriptions, in an historical continuum that wants to best represent the coexistence between these cultures. And the target seems to have been achieved in the restoration of the building in every detail and with its opening to the public and to the believers on December 24th, 2021. All this has been possible thanks to the close cooperation between Italian and Turkish experts who have worked in concordance with the sole purpose of revitalizing this significant monument. Mm -hmm.